Now to a possible breakthrough on Capitol Hill, where the House has unveiled a plan to provide billions of dollars in emergency aid to Ukraine and Israel. But the move could endanger the Republican speaker's future. CBS' Scott McFarlane is at the Capitol. All right, good evening, Scott. So what do we know? And Nora, on the same day, top military leaders warned Ukraine is running out of money and munitions. House Republicans unveiled a long-awaited, long-stalled plan to help Ukraine. And they think they've threaded a political needle here. They offer $61 billion for Ukraine, billions more for Israel, but they'll have separate votes, which could help embattled House Speaker Mike Johnson win enough votes from both parties. It also could fuel criticism from Republicans, including those trying to oust him, that don't want more money for Ukraine. Johnson tonight says he doesn't need Democrats to intervene to save him, but multiple Democrats told CBS News they would if it meant more money for Ukraine. And Nora, the bill got a big jolt. President Biden says he supports it, too. That's really interesting. And meanwhile, Scott, there's also news tonight about those impeachment charges against the Homeland Security Secretary. The second ever impeachment of a U.S. cabinet secretary, the first since the 1800s, Republicans argued Alejandro Mayorkas willfully and systematically failed to enforce immigration law. Democrats today said it was political and on party lines they voted to dismiss both articles. It began after lunch and ended before dinner. So now it's all done. It's all done. Scott McFarland, thank you.